Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedbuilding video. For this week, we are redoing something that I did a while ago that I never got to upload here on this channel. So this is a modern boathouse. Now, initially, this wasn't going to be a boathouse. That was not the plan that I had for this build, but it just so happens that it started looking a lot like a bow house so i deleted a whole lot and started over again making it in intentionally look like a boat house and um the reason i said this is something that i'm redoing is because i probably started and redid the whole lot maybe three or four times before i was certain exactly what i wanted it to look like Basically, I just went off of a picture that I saw online of a house that was more like... Um, it, it didn't look like a boat, but it had this section of the house that was actually underwater. And I really liked that idea, so I wanted to do something similar. And as I was building my first um, idea for this house, um, I just figured out it was kind of weird just standing in the middle of the water so I thought that maybe turning it into a certain type of boathouse would be better and I, it turns out I was right it did it does look a bit better when it's when it just looks like it's intentionally in the water otherwise it just looked a bit weird um but yeah so um I built this quite some time ago. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to check right now exactly when was this, but it was a while ago. Let's see. Um, Where's the date? Oh, okay. So it was in January. It was one of the first builds of this, uh, of this year. So it was in January 2017. And I do this quite often. I would build something and then I would become very insecure about it and either I wouldn't finish it or I would finish it and start doubting myself and how it looks and if I want to upload it either on the gallery on the channel or whatever and then I would just end up not not doing so and not uploading it and this happens to me quite a lot not only with builds but with art, for instance, and photography as well, I would spend so much time on a drawing or on a photo shoot that I did with a friend and just not be happy with the results or at least not be as happy as I thought I would be. And then I would start doubting myself. I would start feeling bad and I would just not finish um, whatever it is the project was. Um, and I noticed that it's not, I mean, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that other people won't. So I am trying to develop more of a different approach towards my projects and maybe start, um, you know, there was this saying before, uh, I heard it somewhere. It was, it went something like, mm, finish it, don't make it perfect, something like that. And I think I should tattoo that somewhere on my, on my body or even on my face just so I can see it every day and so that it would remind me. Because in terms of actual work that I have to do, it's very frustrating. I don't know if any of you guys experience that, but it's very frustrating when you spend so much of your time on something and in the end you just get really frustrated because it it doesn't look the way that you thought it would and so you just kind of stop um if, not finish it or just finish it half-assed or something like that and it's not very it's not a very healthy way to look at your projects and i do realize that and doing so and feeling the way that i do ends up oh, just wasting my time with projects that, um, well, that I'm not exactly passionate about. So I am trying to develop a healthier 
way to look at things and I do hope that I do especially with this YouTube channel here because I, I have a lot of projects that I've started and never finished or that I started finished and never uploaded just because I'm not as happy uh, as I could be and that's just not good and it's not as I said it's not a healthy um, way to look at my builds and even drawings and everything that I do so I am trying really hard to change that so <laughs> enough of me just wasting you guys' time let's get on with this build so here we are working on the exterior and it is already looking like a boat um, I um, had a bit of trouble, actually I had a lot of trouble with the layout, not because it's that hard and angular and not because it has that many rooms, but mostly because it's a huge open space and usually in boats you wouldn't, I guess you wouldn't just have like in the middle of the huge open space, I don't think you would have a huge wall that would separate the whole building. Um, and you wouldn't have anything that was too heavy because it is meant to float on water. So I um, I tried my best to make it at, to make it believable in terms of a um, boathouse and as, at the same time to make it look nice. And um, I was struggling like I said with the layout but I did end up making it work and instead of dividing everything with walls I ended up dividing it with uh, either columns or decorations and I, I thought it looks really well so the or really good so the only place that I actually used um, full-on walls was in on the basement floor um, this house has two no, sorry, it has three bedrooms and four bathrooms. And when I say bathroom, I don't mean like a full-on bathroom, even though it has... Okay, so it has a bedroom on the top floor, and that is the main or master bedroom. And I think that's my favorite one, just because the color scheme was really great. There were the decorations fit in really nicely and the wall dividers that I use were really pretty. So you see what I mean. It is the last thing that we're going to build in this part of the video because I am going to split this into two videos. As you can see, it's already very, very fast and it's very um, sped up and I didn't want to risk it and speed it up even more because everybody including me would have gotten really dizzy just watching so I had to split it into two videos and in the first one we finish up the first floor the main floor the exterior and the second floor so um, in the second part we'll finish off some things on the deck and the bottom floor so on the main floor, we have a mostly a living area. So we have a kitchen, a living area, and a dining area. And we do have sort of like an entrance that is kind of sectioned off with uh, some closets and some seating space. And um, the color scheme of the whole build is very muted. It's very light and very kind of natural. So we have these light wood everywhere. Uh, on the deck, on the sides of the walls, just everywhere. And on the inside, it's mostly um, toned down blues, pastel blues, and a, just uh, a splash of bright yellow here and there. So bo mostly, if the color scheme is like um, gray, light, um, light brown, gray, light blue, and yellow. And it might sound weird at the moment, but I, trust me, it works. It really, really works because everything is kind of in the same tonality and everything is very muted and just the yellow that kind of um, gives it a bit of oomph, I guess. <laughs> so here you see me working on the kitchen. I do end up changing the layout of the kitchen a lot because at first I started out with a half wall. Then I decided I didn't like that. I put in a full-on, full wall 
Um, then I decided I did not like that either and it just looked weird and it closed off a huge chunk of the room so it go back to the idea of having a half wall. So as I said they, here in this build I was very insecure with what I was doing and I was apparently insecure while I was doing it as well because I change up so much stuff especially on this level and like the kitchen changes quite a bit from what it is right now and also the living area changes as well um but i do end up making it work and the thing about this build is that when i built it in the beginning of the year i was like oh yeah this is great i love it it's awesome i'm gonna upload it people are gonna watch it it's gonna be cool and then I finished it and the more I looked at it, the less I liked it. And I don't know if anyone's ever had that happen to them, but I've had that happen to me with, say, photos of myself. Um, just an example, like I, I take a picture or we, me and my friends take a picture and then I see one of them and I really like it. I'm like, yeah, this is great. Just upload it. And they upload it and the more I look at it, the less I like it. You know, the thing where you, the more you look at it, it's like the uglier you become. And I tend to feel that way a lot during my life. And I guess this build was kind of like a selfie that I took. The more I looked at it, the more hideous it got. So, um, I finished it i was really excited about it and then i decided i didn't like it so i decided that i wasn't going to upload it and then one day uh, a couple of months ago i thought okay well maybe if i go in and i record um just deleting the whole interior and redecorating it all together it'll be better so i go i go in the second time with the idea to start the interior all together anew and then I, I started looking around, I started flipping through all of the uh, levels and I decided to actually like how it turned out. And I don't know, I really don't know what is up with this build. Right now you can see me spin around quite a bit. I just don't know what was up with this build. I am still not sure if I should have uploaded it. I am happy with it. I do like it. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It makes me so insecure. And... I guess that's a good thing. That's a good thing because I I have been playing it safe mostly on my channel. There were a couple of builds that are more out there. For instance, the um, the underground military base that I built a couple of um, weeks ago. And um, even though not a lot of people watched it on the channel, I was very insecure about that as well because I did love how it turned out, but I knew that it wasn't going to generate that much traction towards my channel. And even though that's fine, you do want someone to see your builds and you want to see somebody to see how much you worked on something and having it not being appreciated can sometimes lower your self-esteem and make you feel even more <laughs> insecure about the, their about your builds so i guess sometimes when you upload something that is more either personal to you or represents your style more or is completely out of your comfort zone and represents your style in no particular way those are the times where you just gotta risk it you know you just gotta upload it and you you have to finish it you have to to upload it and and you just you gotta trust yourself and you gotta trust your gut you know sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't and just not feel bad about it that's something that i'm trying for myself i am trying not to feel bad about about things about the fact that i don't really have that many views on my channel and nobody's here to really see my builds um, but I am happy to do it and I am really happy to upload for you guys and sometimes when I get a really nice comment it just makes my day and um, thank you thank you for those uh, thank you to those who have been watching and have been commenting thank you for your support and uh, the like a button that you occasionally hit on my videos I really really appreciate it like I said it makes my day 
So we are struggling with the interior on the first floor right now, moving things around. Those two chairs are in the download um, version on the gallery, but I do urge you to delete them. Just because I put them in and I was like, these chairs do not fit in here, but I don't know why. And when I deleted them, it just felt very empty on the other side, so I kept them. And then, I've mentioned this before, but when I finish a build, I usually show it to my mom. I know, I'm, yeah, I am a loser right here, but that's what I do. I usually show, um, walk my mom through my whole build. And she always has an opinion. Like, she always has something for me to change. Uh, either it's a color or an entire room because that's happened as well. And the mistake that I usually do is I show it after I'm done and after I've uploaded it on the gallery. And I usually just don't want to delete it and re-upload it again. But she, she sometimes, sometimes she says it's necessary. Because for instance, these two chairs, she said that those two chairs do not fit in any way. And she was right. When I deleted them, it was fine. Because I guess they're really round and egg-like and everything is very angular in this entire house. So I can see what she meant when she said I had to remove those shears. So I do end up removing them for myself. But on the Gary, uh, the Gary version, they are there, so I do urge you to delete them, just so, you know, if, if they're bugging you. I don't know, I kind of liked them at the beginning, but now that I think about it, not really. <laughs> um, and on this area right now, the little entrance area with the closets and the shoes, I had some kind of weird glitch with the lighting, and I do think you're going to see it in a minute. Because this is a boathouse and because it doesn't have that many windows, the whole build was very dark so i put in quite a few um lights but but the thing with the lights was that they looked very randomly placed and i didn't want that so i made them look a bit more like decor or they were made intentionally the way that they were so some of the lights I kind of made into little clusters, clusters of lights. And that was really cool, at least I thought it was cool. And it, it gave the build a bit more of a modern feel as well. But on the area with the cupboards and uh, the closets, there was a glitch and some of them were bright white and some of them were pitch black. I don't know what was up with that as when I would move lights around they would be normal and then I place the lamp and it goes black again. I don't know. It was weird. I think you're going to see me in a second just um, trying to work through that. As you can see I am putting little clusters of lamps here and there to brighten up the place because it was very dark. And I didn't want it to be dark. I wanted it to be very light as you can see right now. See, they're, they're just kind of dark when I move some lamps around. And that, that was weird. But, oh well, I guess. We, we made it work. I think I ended up deleting a couple of lamps. And it kind of fixed the problem or something. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I guess we're almost finished with the first floor. Um, we do move on to the upper level where I what was up there it was the master bedroom so it's a master bedroom uh, sort of an office area uh, another tiny little living area and a closet and a bathroom and I do realize that right now on the first floor we do not have a bathroom but I'm going to put just a tiny toilet in one of the edges so that's why I said that it has four bathrooms it doesn't really have four bathrooms more like three just because the one on the first floor is just a toilet but I don't know it felt weird not having a bathroom on the first floor because that would mean that if you have guests or something you had to make them either go to your bedroom to go to a bathroom or go on the um, lower area to go to a bathroom or just I don't know go in the water I guess some people do that um, but yeah, even though I do, I do realize that having this house on the water, I don't think that having four bathrooms is exactly the way to go. 
it just doesn't seem right but at the same time not having somewhere to go on the first floor felt even worse so yeah now we're on to the second floor and this is the master bedroom and i wanted to do something a bit different with the bed and the um night nightstand but it it wasn't i was trying to not use the little um oh, what was it what were they called um end tables i was trying not to use end tables and to make it a bit more interesting and i do think i end up using one of these accent tables instead because i don't know it felt too generic to use um night end tables it felt too generic to use end tables and i wanted to spice it up a bit so you will see me put in an accent table i think um on either sides like this and uh yeah uh, I did end up using one of the new big uh, three panel paintings from I think it was from City Living and I really like the color scheme on it because it had that bright yellow that is kind of a recurring theme through this entire house and I really like that and also these curtains that I'm using right now I do end up moving them and using just one on the side to give it a bit more privacy when I section off the bed from the office area you will see that in a second um, because this is again a huge open space and I did not want to put in too many walls because I felt like it would make the whole build kind of heavy. So this is the painting by the way that I was just talking about with the bright yellow on it. And I love the bed covers because they have this little compasses on the pillows. I think that is so cute and at the same time it's so perfect for this build. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the master bedroom. Right after the stairs, there is going to be a living area. And um, kind of in the corner there is going to be a small office area with a bookshelf and a big desk. And um, I had to have a bit more privacy between the desk and the bed. So I used one of those decorative columns or something. And I put uh, a curtain on it. So... Yeah, to just to simulate privacy. Well, basically, I don't think your Sims would even um, notice that there's any privacy in there because since there's no door, it's not a room. So yeah, but just for the sake of the building video, I did that. And I also thought it would be really cool to put in a few little boats here and there. So there's a boat on each um, level, and um, I some of them were not modern but some of them were really cool and I thought that was just adorable I kind of had the idea from when I built last year which I actually uploaded just recently when I built the friends apartments and I built Ross Geller's apartment he was a paleontologist and he really he um, he was really into dinosaurs he was a dinosaur guy so I put in a few dinosaur toys all around his apartment and I thought that was really cute. And we do have a lot of dinosaurs in The Sims. And we also have a couple of boat items. Which is kind of random to have. But we do have it. So I thought that this was the perfect boat to use them in. Um, also, I don't think I'm going to be adding um, screenshots at the end of this video. I don't know. I might add a few. But I think I might add them to the next part just because I don't actually know I'm going to put in a couple of screenshots of what I built till now and in the next one there will be all of the screenshots both from the first video and from um, the second video with all of the um, rooms and everything that I've built up until now and I am sorry again that I had to split it into two but I know that most people don't tend to watch videos like building videos that are more than 25 minutes and even splitting it it was more than 25 minutes so I kind of had to. Um, so here's the office area kind of done. I am going to put in a little couch right there. I'm going to remove those things that I just put in and I did put some lounge chairs and um, I, I put in some lounge chairs on the deck and on the little sort of um, 
it's not exactly a deck but like the upper area the upper deck that is kind of like a terrace i put in a few lounge chairs and i also put in um a couple of yoga mats from the uh spa day pack um that kind of looked like they were uh oh what was it called not bath towels but well beach towels they looked like they were beach towels and they put in a uh lotion box in, in next to them and i put in a stereo and it looks exactly like you would sunbathe right on that area and all those towels and i thought that was really cool and yeah so we are about to get into the end of this video uh, we're just going to finish up this level and then we're going to move on um to the lower area which you will see in the next video on the lower area there is a bar area there's a, another living area there's a gym and two more bedrooms and um there's also a bathroom and kind of a um, storage room or something and the two bedrooms are meant for maybe kids or teenagers that your family can uh has and this is uh, this is how a house that is very um it's appropriate for a bigger family like you have so many double beds in here and so many bathrooms that you can have a lot of sense living in here so yeah that's something that i took into consideration and um yeah i did end up using some shelves on the windows to make them seem like blinds as well and here are the dividers that i used and the curtain i think it looks really cool because it, it simulates a lot of privacy and i think that's a very important and at least for me and i i just love how it how it looked so we are about to get into the end of this video um i really got i really hope you guys like it and if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned till the second episode and if it's already out i will link it down below so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video so bye bye